Hi, good morning. I am Victor Arguelles from Mexico. We did an, a research with Benjamin Ruiz to do the analysis of the ionizer tooth to get a structured water for crops irrigation approach with the use of biowell. The empirical evidence shows that when the farmer use water improved by the Chapingo University device, the Hobartin, the product has a higher growth than the product with untreated water. The intention of the present pilot study is to know if the improvement of the water can be validated through the bio well variables. How we decide to perform this study? First, because the owner of the Unicer tooth has agreed pictures where he shows the image evidence, where the product has a higher growth than the product with untreated water. It is important to mention that in Mexico, we have the Chapingo Autonomous University, and his mission is to train professionals and develop scientific and technological research directed at the production of agricultural food. In this context, the development of a frequency emitting device, Hobartin, was carried out to improve the quality of water for agricultural use. The results during the last 10 years have been very satisfactory. Experiment two, evaluation of yield of tomato, irrigation with water treated with ionizing frequencies versus irrigation with normal water. The results in the experiment was not conclude due to the presence of a snowfall. However, interesting results were observed. 100% of the plants watered with normal water did not resist a snowfall whereas plants watered with water trade with fre ionizing frequencies did not suffer any damage. We can see the, in the picture how is damaged the plants and, and it's very clear the difference between two. Now I'm going to introduce you my friend Benjamin Ruiz. He will explain the theoretical framework of this study with the biowell sensor and the camera. Thanks everyone for joining with us on this online congress. I, I am Benjamin Ruiz and the, I will present the theoretical framework and the first question that we made when we prepared uh, this study, the question wa was why we select the method to get some samples associated to the water at four degrees. Uh, the answer was because the theory that Gerald Pollack mentioned in his book, the fourth phase of the water, is in this temperature, is when the bulk water make the transition uh, to the, uh, from the liquid to solid state and discover the exclusion zone because uh, this proceeds to the ice state. For this reason, we decide to measure the water at four degrees in order to compare the results with the rest of the methods uh, that we performed in this study. Another important uh, method to analyze is the vortex, and it's based in the observation that Victor Schorberger studied in the natural behavior of the water in the rivers. And he mentioned that this water is more alive. In, in another hand, uh, Rudolf Steiner performed some experiments based in the vortex method and irrigate the crops with this kind of water and he discovered that the fruit grow more than the crops irrigated with the bulk water. And you know, in these days, uh, some farmers continue using this method, the vortex water, in order to irrigate the crops. Regarding of the entropy, uh, for us is the most important variable on this study because it represents the order or disorder at molecular level. And Pollack mentioned that it's a natural behavior of the forces in the nature. Important to mention that the entropy in the bio world device represents the trend of the entropy, not is a puntual measurement. And on this study, it's important to analyze the deviation of the area too that represent the variation of the measurement that we take every five seconds. 
Important reference for us was the influence of drinking structured water of the human psychopsychology that was performed by Dr. Korkov. And he shows that if the human drink a water structure, the benefits is the reduce the stress, a significant decrease in the creatinine levels, and this benefit is for the human. And we ask on, on our study what happened because we have an empirical results with this ionizer tube. For this reason, we refer this important uh, article for us. With the previous information that we show in the framework theoretical, uh, the next step was to establish the objective and the research questions. And for us, is to establish if there is a degree of the water structuring through the water measurement using the biowell device. And the question is, does the biowell variables describe the level of a structuring of the water? On these steps regarding of the materials and metals, we select the computer, biowell device, water sensor, and the proper variables that the software offer to us. The first regarding of the samples, we take four liters of the bulk bulk water in a jar and generate the four samples with 500 millimeters for control water, ionizer water, vortex and magnetic water, and water at four degrees. And the time for each influence method was 30 minutes. And obviously the measurement performance was 30 minutes too. On this table, you can see the, the design of the control of the measurement in order to labeling in the BioWell software, in the row, the, the methods, and in the columns, the samples. When we finish the measurements, we export the data to the CSV files in order to process all the data inside of the Excel tool. On this slide, I would like to show you a pedagogical license in order to show you what happened if the, in the water. Imagine that we have a classroom with the kids and they are playing and moving and, and playing inside of the classroom. If we have the opportunity to take a measurement, we will discover the high area division and high entropy. This is equal to a disorder. But if the, we put in front the teacher that who induced the order, uh, we will have the order kids and, the, and at the end, we have a low area division and a negative entropy. This means that we will have an order. After we perform the, all the experiments, we put together all the results on this table. And you can see in the first column the variable, and the second you can see the data regarding to the confidence interval at 95% for all the experiments. We calculate the lower interval, upper interval, and the difference uh, if the, this interval decrease or increase for all the measurements uh, that we take. It's most interesting to see the results in graphs than the table. And we can show you in graphs in the next slides. On this slide, you can see the area. And when we compare uh, uh, what happened with the ionizer water, you can see that this decrease, the area decrease, in 31%. But in the vortex and magnetic water, increase in 80%. I suppose that the uh, vortex and magnetic influence in the movement of electrons and photons. For this reason, we have this increase in when we compare it with the control water. Regarding of the water at the four degrees, the, the area decrease in 60%. Regarding of this graph associated to the intensity, you can see that the behavior of the graph is very close to the previous slide, the area. In this case, the ionizer water decreased in 40% and the vortex and magnetic water increased in 90%. This means that we discovered that we have some correlation between the intensity and area and it's interesting for us. Okay, regarding of the energy, the variable energy, we can discover that the graph follows the same trend that we have in area 
and intensity. And you can see the ionizer water decrease again and the vortex magnetic increase. Uh, this means for us is a correlation between the area intensity and energy, but is an interesting result for us. One of the most important uh, variables for us in order to discover if something happened in the water was the area deviation. And you can see when we compare the interval between the control water and the ionizer water, this decrease in 33%. And associated to the vortex and magnetic uh, water, this decrease in 45%. This means that the vortex and magnetic water influence more in the control water. The sad result was for the four degrees water because the interval increase. But this is associated because we use the fridge in order to get the water at four degrees. And uh, we don't control the, the exact uh, level of, of the temperature of the water. For this reason, this variation is high. In our suggest is in the future measurement to get the water at four degrees with this stabilization. Uh, the most important uh, variable for us was the entropy because this show the change of behavior of the water after we apply the influence for different methods. Uh, the first, you can see the entropy uh, regarding to the ionizer water decrease in 61%. This means that the molecular of the water trends to the order. And regarding of the vortex and magnetic water decrease in 55%. And the water at 4 degrees decreased too in 32%. This is interesting because if you remember the pedagogical license that we show uh, regarding of the kids, apparently the methods that we apply in order to influence the water affect the water in order to get the order. The results, uh, let me mention some points about of this. The first is the bulk water maintain the most high area deviation and the entropy trends go to positive entropy. And this is according to the theory. If we have a positive entropy, we have a disorder. If we have a negative uh, entropy, we have an order. The second is that the water at four degrees is more variable than we expected according to the theory. And the conclusion is that the method to get four degrees and maintain it stable was not possible. I am sorry because we used the fridge. And for the new measurement that we will perform in the future, we have to use a more stable device in order to maintain the stability at 4 centigrade, centigrade degrees. Another result uh, was the vortex and magnetic method has the best low area deviation in the confidence interval at represent the 41% than the water control. And the United tube represent less the 33%. This means that the both methods generate an order in the water control. In terms of the entropy, the vortex magnetic and ionizer tube is more stable and trend is negative than the control water. This means that the both methods affect the bulk water. For us, the conclusion with the limitation of the study is that we can infer that the area deviation and entropy variable could be described the quality of the optimization of the water and give the answer of the effects in the plant's growth in the empirical results that we show in the first slides. Our conclusion after we analyze the data with the limitation of the study is that we can infer that the area deviation and entropy variables could be described the quantity of the optimization of the water and give the answer of the effects in the plant's growth 
in the empirical results. For my side, I really appreciate your attention and your time. And now I pass the word to Victor because he performed some extra measurement that the results was very interesting and one invitation to the BioWell users. Thanks a lot. Water, one of the four elements a mystery to discover in the future. Some Kabbalists and teachers say the water filled it all the reality and the existence before the creation. The water is a physical expression, a force energy of mercy and the life force of creation. We can know that the water is, a, is an essence of the life, is an expression of something superior creation. The water is something that helps us to enjoy this life. Then the water is a very important element that we have to know. We have to research, we have to go deep into the secrets of the water. Well, in this open conclusion, we can say that the Hobartian devices is sending information that is recorded in the water and also is structuring the water and this water gives more lifespan, more vitality and more force, more energy to the plants and also this, could, this water could help to the human well-being. Well, in conclusion, we can say that the water is a very deep topic because the water has been here since the beginning of the creation and before the creation. We also are united by the water. We are all connected, all the human beings are connected through the water that is inside of his body. The water has been the same, always is have, have a cycle, the water of the, the cycle of the water. And this water has been in all the human beings in all their times of the history has been the same water and the water has the memory of the humanity. Then we can share these feelings through our waters that are inside and if, if we can grow our energy, if we can level the energy of our hearts and we can send this energy to our water inside of our bodies, we are sending this energy to all the water in the planet. Thank you.